Hello there people, welcome to uh, the second part of my Spongebob Squarepants DVD collection which is the movies and the box sets. I wasn't expecting part one to get 3.5k views at the time of filming this, so pretty ecstatic about that. Thank you guys for, for giving me that many views and for subscribing, it really means a lot. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm going to be showing more collections and just doing some other videos and stuff but anyway before we start with these I'm going to show you the, uh, the McDonald's Happy Meal DVD two secret episodes which is literally just the thing and Hocus Pocus it's got Spongebob on the front, Patrick on the back uh, 11 minutes per episode it's about 20 odd minutes this DVD but yeah um, it's not in that good condition to be honest there's the sticker sheet can't even pull it out because it's stuck to the cover and the disc doesn't look the greatest it wasn't i didn't do it i didn't do this to this disc it was like this when i when i when i got it i can't be bothered to get another one because i'll never watch it i've just got it for collectorial collection purposes anyway let's move on to the actual first dvd which is the first spongebob squarepants movie been water stained i think i must have spilled i must have spilled water on the cover a long time ago but oh well this was released the original release was from 2005 but anyway it's got the movie on it special features the absorbing tale behind the spongebob squarepants movie case of the spongebob saving the surf animatics and the teaser trailer and um this is a 2009 re-release because it has 2009 on the cover instead of 2005. It's 83 minutes long. Long time. There's the disc. Next up is the second movie. Sponge Out of Water. I remember watching this in the cinema. It was it was pretty good. It was it's not as good as the first film, but it's not bad. I think it's all right. Anyway, special features: SpongeBob SquarePants out of his world. When I grow up, I want to make funny sounds. Becoming Burger Beard, making the Burger Mobile Chase sequence. Wow, enticing special features. Eighty nine minutes long. And released in 2015, this DVD, there's a disc, feature film and special features, and a um, little pamphlet for Spongebob Squarepants merchandise. We all love merchandise. Anyway, next up, my most recent purchase besides the Season 8 box set and the McDonald's Happy Meal DVD, uh, Sponge on the Run, the third Spongebob movie, released in 2021 on DVD. Anyway, so special features are a mini movie, deleted Sponge. Spongebob storyboard scenes, sing-along music videos, arts and crafts, and more. Yeah, nice one. Uh, anyway. <laughs> There's the actual DVD. Let's move that. Yeah, sorry if it's a bit bright, I'm filming this at night, so the bigger light's on. I can't see what the runtime says. Oh, that's annoying. It doesn't say the runtime on the cover. Oh well. There's a disc, pretty much the same as the last disc. Uh, 
then last but not least with movie releases is the three movie collection which has all three movies on one in one set and i bet you're thinking why did you get these um when you've already got the movies um newsflash collectorial purposes that's why anyway ah so it doesn't say i can't read the runtime on the original release but on this one the runtime for the sponge on the run dvd is 91 minutes and then the other two are the same 83 and 89 but yeah it's got like little covers of the This is exactly the same. And these are all discs. Oh, bloody hell. I've broken. Ah, oh, fuck, I've broken. Similar to the old discs, but they've obviously got the new ratings on. The new BF BBFC rating symbols. So they are slightly different. Anyway. On to the box sets. This is the complete first season. R.I.P. Stephen Illenberg. I'm not reading all the episodes. I'm going to be here all night. But the special features. The origin of Spongebob Squarepants. And sing along with Spongebob Squarepants. So here's disc one. Which has whole monitor on the cover. Again, I'm not reading all the episodes. This box set was released in 2005. The total runtime of all the discs is 448 minutes. But here's the disc. Here's disc 2, which has fun on the cover. A lot of good episodes from season one. The only season with hand-drawn hand animation style as well. So all the others are, have been animated digitally on computers. This was the only one using traditional cell animation. It's not my favourite season though, but... I'd say, I prefer, in my opinion, I prefer season one over season two, and then I prefer season three over season one of the classic season. This is the disc with the special features. That's just my opinion. I know there's great episodes in season two. I will stand by that Bang Geeks is probably the best episode of the classic season. Of the classic three seasons, but I'm talking about the overall season. Speaking of that, here is season two. But there are some good. I'm not. I'm not saying season two is bad. There are some really good episodes in season two. I do really like season two. I like them all, but I'm saying if I was to like come back to watching them, I'd be most likely to watch season three, and then season one, and then season two. Showing you upside down. Oops, apologies. Uh, 444 minute runtime. Rest in peace, Stephen Illenberg. I do prefer the cover for season two though than season one.
But yeah, this is the last box set that's like massive special feature around the world with SpongeBob SquarePants featurette. If you've noticed, on the UK release compared to the US release, there's nowhere near as many bonus features on these as there were in the US releases of the same box set, which is a shame. But that's disc one with Wormy on the cover. Yeah, it doesn't have the runtime for each individual disc on the cover. But anyway, speaking of disc, here it is. For some reason, it's the German discs, which still play on UK DVD players, but like, it's really interesting to see a German SpongeBob Schwankoff. Wow, I nailed that. Um, anyway, disc two. Mermaid Man and Barney could buy. Um, I don't know which Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy it is. I think it's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 2. Oh no, it's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3. Well, in this season... Oh no, season 1 had Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 2, didn't it? Season 1 had Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 1 and 2. Season 2 had Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3. Here's a disc. SpongeBob Schwamkoff. Disc 3. Graveyard shift on the cover. You can tell I love SpongeBob. I can just name the episodes from what I can see. This is the disc with the special feature on again. SpongeBob Schwankoff. SpongeBob Schwankoff. Anyway, next up is season three. My favourite season of the show. In my opinion. This was the peak. Of Spongebob's original. Run. I keep showing you that upside down. Caleb Miura illustrated this cover. It's probably my favourite out of all the box sets, to be honest. It's an incredible cover. And I'm not saying that just because it's season three. I'm saying that because it's a really nice cover. And it's small and compact compared to the first two. Anyway, at run time of all the discs, 505 minutes. Anyway, there's an advert in here for the SpongeBob SquarePants magazine. It's on sale now. Six issues for £12.50. Again, if I had these when I were a young, young child, these leaflets, I'd have been begging for them from Santa. Well, quote-unquote Santa. Um, complete third season disc one. Squillium Returns. I think that's what the episode's called. Squillium Returns. I'm sure it is. Yeah, it is. Squillium Returns. I weren't sure what the episode was called. I know I know the episode. I just weren't sure what it was called. Anyway, there's disc one. If you notice, the Krabby Patty has one bite out of it. And here's disc two with SpongeBob BC on the cover. Probably the weakest special, not because of Patchy, but because of the episode itself. It's just SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward as cavemen. It's a bit boring. But I like the sequence when they first discover fire. I like that. That's pretty cool. Is this two with two bites out of the Krabby Patty? And then here's disc three. Plankton's army on the cover. And there he is, look. And there's disc three with three bites of the Krabby Patty. It's stuff like that that you don't really see in any of the other box sets. So that's why this box set is probably my favourite in terms of the actual design. Anyway, sticking with these compact ones is season four. I bought all of these from HMV apart from season seven and eight. 
Season 7 and 8 were the only ones I bought online. And season 6 I didn't buy, I got it for Christmas from, from my mum one Christmas. It was the first box set I had was season 6. Which is an unfortunate as as the first one to have because it's one of the worst seasons but I'm gonna I just I don't learn do I? I'm still showing you them upside down. But yeah this is the only uh, box set in this video to be rated PG. There's Plankton, flat as a pancake. 456 minutes in length. Anyway, here's disc one. Good Neighbours. I'm sure the episode's called Good Neighbours. Yeah, I'm not as clued up on the other seasons as the first three seasons. But I still like I still like the show, but the first three seasons are just they're just the peak of the show. There's disc one. With a SpongeBob stock art on the disc. Disc two, which is Krusty Towers. Probably one of the good episodes from season four. Season four did have some good episodes, but it also had some stinkers. It's not, it's a bit more hit and miss than the first three seasons of season four. It's not a bad season. It's not a bad season at all, but it gets worse from here, but season four is still pretty, it's, it's a good season. It's not, it's not like great or peak, but it's a good season. There's the second disc. It's rated PG. But yeah, disc one was rated U. Disc two rated PG, because this is the one with Karate Choppers, which was the first SpongeBob episode in UK to be rated PG. Fun fact. And there's um, season three. Uh, blah, blah, disc three. Fuck me. Sorry. Um, can't read. Come on, focus. No special features this time. What a rip. There's this three. SpongeBob's driver's license. That's probably my favourite disc of this box set. Anyway, season five. The last box set with the original Nickelodeon logo. It's the 2009 version though, where they make the splat obnoxiously big. This is the first one with the new modern SpongeBob SquarePants logo as well. Hey, I didn't show you it upside down this time. I think I did say the runtime of all the. Uh, DVDs from season four, didn't I? Yeah, season four was 456 minutes. Season five is 450 minutes, and this does have special features again. There's disc one, which is Who Bob What Pants on the cover. Which isn't on this disc. It's on the cover of the disc. But it's not on the disc. Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. Among Us Among Us. There's disc. Disc 2. This has Atlantis Square Pantis on this disc. But again, Friend or Foe is on the cover, but it's not on this disc. Again, annoying. 
this two. Here's this three. And this has special features. Three friend or foe shorts. Karaoke music videos. Bubble gum. Goodbye Atlantis. Dead eye together if I could talk to money. But yeah, so... This one has Hoobob What Pants on, whatever happened to Spongebob. So yeah, it's on the cover of the first disc. Friend or, so Friend or Foe is the cover of disc 2, but it's on disc 1. Hoobob What Pants is the cover of disc 1, but it's on disc 3. Yeah, cheers Nickelodeon. Done well there, are not you? Anyway, here's disc. Right, almost done. Going on to the plastic covers now. Here's season six, like I said earlier, the first season box set I ever got. What a season to start on when I was binge watching through season box sets. Yeah, I don't really like season six. Anyway, the runtime of all the discs this time is 609 minutes. Here are the discs on the inside. Which is just a list of episodes. Next up, we have season seven. It's better than season six, but not better than the first five seasons. There's the back, doesn't have all the Sorry about that cut, my phone died. Um, but I'm not filming this all again. So I'm just going to stitch both of the videos together. Anyway, the total run time is 606 minutes. Seems to be getting longer. Anyway, here's the discs. The list of episodes is inside the cover. Last but not least, we have season eight, which is also a bad season, but this is the most recent box set I got. I only got this like last week before I filmed the first part of the video of the series. Um, but that's because I couldn't find it originally, but it appeared online. This was the final season box set to be released in the United Kingdom. So yes, season 9 to season 13 have never been released on DVD in the United Kingdom. The entire Spongebob Renaissance era has never been released on season box set. It's been released on some of the individual DVDs, but the full seasons have never been released. Which is a real, real shame, because I would have collected them, for sure. I'd buy them all, but... Anyway, this is the smallest case so far. 597 minutes. It's a shame, really, that the case is, like, damaged. So disc one always pops out. It's probably scratched a lot, but... I weren't planning on watching season eight, anyway. I've got it for, again... Collector's purposes. See, there's disc one. Disc three. Disc four. And disc two. Laziest disc design yet, because it's just the same design of across four discs. But yeah, I can't stop this from popping out, look, watch. It just comes off. It just comes off constantly. So 
so I can't stop it. Anyway, that's it. That's all my season box sets and movies. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do leave a like. Please subscribe. There'll be more of these kinds of videos in the future for my other collections. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye.